R programming is a well-developed, simple and effective programming language used for statistical computing and graphics. Hi everyone, this is Avinash from Edureka and in today's session we are going to talk about how to install packages in R. But before we get started, if you like our videos, please do not forget to subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also if you are looking for online certification course on data science R programming certification, please check out the link given in the description down below. Let's start with our agenda for the day. We'll learn about what are the most commonly used packages in R. Also, we learn how to install these packages for both R console and R studio. And at last, we'll see the difference between both the interfaces. So let's dive right into it. Firstly, we see what are the most commonly used packages in R. They are NitR, MLR3, Deployer, PORR, and Reader. Talking about NitR, it's a general purpose literate programming engine with lightweight API designed to give user full control of the output without heavy coding work. When we talk about MLR3, it's an object-oriented programming on the building blocks of machine learning. Speaking of Deplier, it's a fast, consistent tool for working with data frame like objects both in memory and out of memory. When we talk about PURR, it enhances R functional programming, which also allows you to replace many for loops with code that is more succinct and easy to read. And at last, we talk about Reader, it's a package recently developed that provides replacement for functions like read.table and read.csv. So guys, let's move on to how to install packages both in RStudio and R console. Let's see how it gets done in RStudio. So guys, firstly, you have to get it installed for your Windows or Mac, RStudio, and then you'll have to open RStudio. On the lower right pane, you'll see the Packages tab. Once you go into the Packages tab, you'll find a list of packages. Once you check the package you have to install, You'll have to press install and mention the package name and once again hit install so you'll see the successful downloading of the package and at last upon the completion you'll see a message prompt stating package xxx successfully unpacked so guys let's move on to the demo i'll show you how it's done so guys in the lower right pane you have the packages tab where you can see all the packages list suppose i want to install this package once i check upon it and hit install I'll have to mention the package name again and hit install. So once I hit install on the left side on the console tab, you'll see that the package downloading has started. Well, the download is in progress and upon the completion, you'll find the package fancy successfully unpacked. And also you'll see the directory where it gets downloaded. So this is how it's done in our studio. Moving on, how it's done in our console. So guys, for our console, you'll first have to launch our console. There you'll see the command line where you have to specify the command installed of packages and within the bracket you'll have to specify which package you want to install under the code. Also you'll have to select the CRAN mirror if not selected and hit install. So at last you'll see that the package is being installed and upon the completion of installation you'll find the same message prompt stating that package xxx successfully unpacked. We'll again show you with the illustration. So guys this is our console. Here on the command line, you'll have to write the package command. So guys, for our console, you'll have to specify the package name within the bracket under double code. Suppose I want to install a package called deployer. Once I hit enter. So guys, the package has been installed and you'll see the message stating that package deployer successfully unpacked and MD5 sums checked. Also, you'll see the directory where it gets downloaded. So this is how it's done in our console. So guys, moving on, we see how our console and our studios are different. So guys, in terms of user friendliness, our studio is better comparatively because it provides you multiple segmented video, which also allows increased productivity and elegant form of coding is a must. So you will find various tabs where you can hit multiple tools. So it allows you to render multiple tools under the same window. When we talk about our console, so when you have so many codes, the command line itself will be cumbersome. So this is basically for advanced users who can have proper access to all the codes in one window. You'll see that the efficiency is slightly less compared to our studio because it has only one mainstream window where you can just see your codes running. So it only provides you with few options, which is there on the tab menu. So that's the difference between our console and our studio. And at last, here are the two interfaces how they look like for both our studio and our console. 
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. If you did, please click the like button and press the bell icon to stay notified for our further videos in Edureka. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.